Hello traders, Zigzag Man here and today I'll be doing technical analysis of the daily chart of Spectrum Acquisition Holdings Incorporated, ticker symbol SPAH. There's the link to their website at the top and there's also the company information page on the OTC markets. This company is OTC Pink Current Information which is the highest tier on the pink exchange and that means this company must file all of their SEC filings and file them in a timely manner. Here is a one and a half month daily chart for SPAH as of the close on Friday the 2nd of March 2012 where it closed down 7.5 percent at 0 0.0185 almost two cents volume of 3.2 million shares. Now the first thing I notice is a doji candlestick at the lower Bollinger Band. Now I, I'm a bottom fisher. I like playing these bottom plays where you see a reversal candle at the lower Bollinger Band. Okay, And totally, th this stock is totally oversold. The reading on the fast and slow line are both 10. Anything below 20 is oversold. So as you can see back here it remained oversold for quite a while. Same scenario right here. Okay and then it broke above 20 on this day right here and we got that. Th this might have been news that day but that was a huge gap up and closed up on a huge percentage basis that day on the biggest volume in quite a while. Okay so very oversold. So if we have an up day or two, a lot of people wait for a stock to become very, very oversold like that and then for the fast line to be above the slow line and then to cross up through 20. Okay, if that happens, I'm also looking at a long-term uptrend on the MACD fast and slow lines that goes back at least a month where you have the fast line above the slow line right here and also the histogram has been blue and positive above zero for this entire time uh, on this chart. It's coming down to touch zero where it might kiss off of it. It's only 0 0.005 away from that and that's also bullish and it, if we have an up day we're going to see stochastics break up through 20. That's going to attract some attention if there's good enough volume for it to be noticeable. And then the fast line, you're waiting for the fast line of the MACD to cross up through zero. And that's a buy signal in many people's books. I'm also waiting for the CCI, which is very oversold also at minus 150, about 153 here. Okay, so one or, one or two up days and we get the fast line of the MACD up through zero. We get the kiss of the histogram up off of zero, stochastics coming out of oversold at 20, and the CCI up ticking through the minus 100 line. That's my primary buy signal. But volume is going to have to do this. We've got a descending trend line on volume, and this one needs to come out with some news or something that will get this trend line to be broken. So any volume above the trend line, but hopefully above 10 million shares would be on an up day would be a really good move quite possibly to the middle Bollinger Band 15 moving average area right here. Now my price target on any move that gets above that would be another spike and I'll show you that in a minute but any spike like it has done on this day on the gap there was the doji right there that was the reversal signal and three days later on the intraday spike down that gap was filled. There's another gap there that on the very next day filled it and I don't see any other gaps at all on this chart that need filling. So if you're a bottom fisher, bottom bouncer play like I am, you're looking for big volume, at least 10 million shares. You're looking for it to get through the middle Bollinger Band uh, 15 moving average area which right now is at 0 0.0302 so any break above, I'm sorry, that's uh, it's this one over here, 0 0.0239. Okay, so you've got resistance here at 0 
24. There's also another area of resistance right here on these two days at 0 0.0252 right here and 0 0.0253 below it. Okay, so you've got a little bit of resistance here, or some more here. Any break above this area, we could see a nice spike up like it has done on this day, this day, and this day. And being that far above the upper Bollinger Band uh, is usually a pretty good time to take profits. Now, the price right now is 0 0.0185. A 100% move would be 0 0.039, where we have resistance here at 4. You're going to have resistance here at 0 0.035. But basically, all I'm saying is we need volume. We need the MACD fast line to get up through 0. We need stochastics to fast line to break up through 20 and the CCI to get above minus 100. Clear this area here and we're in this box right here which is at least you know 50 to more than 50 to 75 percent in this area which is where I'd be taking profits because this stock has a habit of having nice tall white candles and then closing with a small body as people take profits from a nice percentage move up. Same thing here. This this candle was white all the way up to here and then it closed below the close that day okay on the gap gap needed to fill did it same thing here you've got a huge white up just upper wick that closed positive that day so I see a pattern here so anywhere in this area is where I would be taking profits for at, at least 50 to almost 75 percent up move and this might you don't want to see it all happen in a day. If there's a gap, that's not good. You you want to see it, you know, two or three days, hopefully, to get get on up here. So sometime next week, I'm looking for volume above 10 million and all of these signals to turn around, and then this becomes a true uh, bottom play. So that's what I'm looking for next week on this one. Uh, it's been a while since companies put out a PR, so. Look for that on Monday. Look for the chatter. There's a lot of chatter on this on the, this weekend already on a number of different locations on the internet. So a lot of people are talking about this one. So keep it on your radar for Monday. It might be a pretty good runner. You know, bottom fishers love this kind of setup. So I want to wish you all happy trading next week. And radar, S-P-A-H, Spectrum Acquisition Holdings Incorporated. They're on the pink sheets, their current information, the highest tier on the pink sheets. And I'll have this one on my watch list come Monday for sure. Good luck. Happy trading next week.